Hello. This is the first part of our social studies lesson, Protecting Our Land. And you, the learner, will be able to locate the national parks on a map, explain the aim of the Bahamas National Trust. Our environment is under threat. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the sea we fish, the soil we farm, the forest, animals and plants that surround us are all in danger. We must all individuals, communities, and nations help to manage our environment and save it for future generations. The Bahamas' environment include warm, clear seas that are full of life, low hills, lakes, swamps, caves, lagoons, wetlands, tidal creeks, and flats. They all provide a rich variety of environments containing many different plants and animals. The Bahamas' original environment is disappearing. The original forests that once covered the Bahamas were destroyed long ago. There are not as many species of plants and animals now as they were even a short time ago. It is vital that we save those that remain. The Bahamas National Trust. The trust was set up in 1959 to protect some of these environments, plants and animals. These plants and animals are in 32 protected areas. The areas of the trust covered 96,000 hectares. Each of the protected areas is patrolled by trust warden who makes sure that people do not harm or destroy the national habitat. The protected areas are named and indicated on the map. So, you will look at the map in your book and you will identify the national parks and other protected areas. The aim of the Bahamas National Trust include to teach people about conservation, to manage the national parks for the enjoyment of the Bahamas and Bahamians and visitors to preserve our rich historical heritage. That is our first part in protecting our land. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something.